Hi guys, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and welcome to another demonstration using some of our brand new stamps. So we're going to recreate this lovely tag and we're going to be using our acrylic sprays today. So I've got Periwinkle, I've got Sun Yellow and I've got Chartreuse. The tag is a watercolour card which works really well with the acrylic sprays. In fact, the acrylic sprays work fine on most card, but especially watercolour card. So we're going to start with the yellow. I'm going to pop that down in the middle. We want a little bit of our green. And then we want to finish off with just a touch of the periwinkle because it's a very strong colour. We don't want too much of it. And then just to give it a little bit of movement, we'll add some water. Okay, and then just let it do its own thing. Swish it around. Try to keep that centre area as yellow as we can because that's where our little fairy is going to be sat and start to dry that off now while it's drying we can just add a little bit of water just to give it a little bit more movement I've got some lovely texture going on in the background now on this. So you need to add the water while it's still slightly damp for this technique to work because the acrylic paint won't move once it's dry. And now we can stamp over this. So I've got my bridge here, so I will ink up in the Nocturne. So there's a lot of detail on the bridge, so make sure that you just give it a little bit of time inking up. Now obviously we can only stamp part of the bridge, but that's exactly what we want. So remembering to keep the yellow area free for our fairy. So let's pop that down there. Let's have a look. There we go. We've got all that lovely detail. Next thing we'll do, pop the moon down. Now you can do that either way, you can put the moon down first or we can stamp our fairy first. Perhaps it might be easier because we'll know where to place the moon if I do the fairy first. So let's ink up Dana. Tiny little stamp, but the detail, especially on those wings, is quite amazing. So there's our lovely little fairy on the bridge and then taking the moon and popping that over the top and now we've got the midnight blue i am very carefully going to go around the edge now be careful of your bridge you don't want to go over the bridge that's really important because then it will look like the moon is in front of the bridge. So we want the bridge sitting in front of the moon. So where we've got the bridge here, we need to just miss that area out and carry on underneath. Like so, there we go. So we're going to soften that edge a little, making it a little bit more three-dimensional. There we go. 
the next thing we're going to do is ink up our lovely trees and this time we're going to use the twilight so we want the tree to sit behind the bridge so I'm just going to tear a little bit of paper and mask off that part of the bridge like so so I've inked that up in twilight and now I'm going to stamp straight up there we go and I'm going to do the same on the other side I'm doing this one in front of the bridge so I will stamp straight over the top there we go so now all I'm going to do is just grab one of our stencil brushes this is the medium sized stencil brush and I'm going to darken the edges pulling everything together so this is midnight blue and I'm just going to go around the edge get some nice depth at the bottom here as well because we're going to put some nice colourful orbs coming up from the water and to get those orbs to stand out we need quite a lot of depth there at the bottom So taking the white Posca, I'm going to just add a little bit of light around that lamp and I'm just going to highlight the tree where the light would light up the tree there. I'm also going to pull out some of this detail of the bridge using the white Posca. Just follow some of those lines, not all of them, just some of them. on this one we've got yeah we've got a little bit of the um, wink of Stella so let's pop a bit of that over the moon as well just to give it a little bit of a shine just around the edge there I don't know whether you can see that under the light this gives it a little bit of a shimmer so we have some glitter Posca pens here. So we've got the orange one, which is quite nice. So we can use this. We've also got the yellow one, which is more like a gold, which is great for detail. You know, if you wanted to highlight any areas as well. We just put a little bit on the edge of the tree. Just a little bit on the bridge as well. A few more orbs. We also have a plain yellow Oscar. So that shows up quite well as well. some clean colour here and I'm just going to see if they work as well probably over the lighter areas yeah so they wouldn't work over any darker areas but on the lighter areas gives off a nice orange little glow and there's a brighter one I'm just going off in the centre of those and let's pop some blue ones down as well. The blue always 
seems to stand out really well actually on a darker background. In fact, you know, you can put down any colour you want. It's fairyland, so we can do what we want. What else have we got? So we've got the white left. So the white is always a good one to work with in the centre of the ones that we've just created just makes them a little bit more three-dimensional again. Dots are great for making things look very magical. And then we'll finish off with um, a touch of glitter, which I've got here. So I'm going to put a few little dots over the tree. And a few about dotted about. I'll tell you which glue this um which stickles this is in a minute. Just that little bit of glitter, it really does pull it to life. So this one's called Stardust. So it's like an iridescent glitter, this one. It's a clear iridescent. And I think that's that's where we're going to finish. So that's two. There's a little bit more blue on that, but no two cards will ever come out the same. The acrylic paints are a great one to create that magical backgrounds. And just sprinkling on that water gives it that lovely textured finish. I hope you've enjoyed today's demo and thank you so much for joining me. I hope it's inspired you to have a go using the new stamps and some of the acrylic sprays. You take care. Bye for now.